First, Chase had a complaint of an ankle injury. We took him to the doctor, and the doctors initially just stated that it was probably a sprain or something, and it got progressively worse over the next day and a half. Took him back, and they decided to do blood work. Once they did the blood work, um, they made the call that to my wife that we were gonna need to go to Fargo that night because there was fear that it was leukemia. Thank God we got to stay here in North Dakota because to have to do this going to Minnesota or St. Jude's, that's in Tennessee, you know, somewhere where it's very, very far away, we wouldn't be even be able to be close to home. When you hear the word leukemia, because we had never been around anything like this before, first thought is that it's a life or death type of thing. It's bad news. So just making sure this was going to be our number one priority now. Two weeks after Chase was diagnosed, it was almost exactly two weeks, I got a phone call from Kara. She's a member advocate for Blue Cross, and she um, has been just incredible and amazing. They're focused on the health of their loved one. What I bring to it is walking them through it, what they need to know, what they can do to get through it. She came to visit us in the hospital as well, yep. brought us lunch to get us away for a little bit, and explained some things to us. Kara makes sure our claims go through, everything's streamlined, and she just makes uh, ev everything so easy and takes a huge weight off our shoulders. But over the last year and a half, the things that we've seen him go through or that he's had to go through with the reactions to the medicines or the chemos or anything from catching pneumonia, having surgery to remove his lower lobe of his left lung completely. There's been a lot of things. Leukemia is not the only thing that he's had to worry about. He's going to be in maintenance for two years, another two years, and um, he will, you know, we'll just, we just have to take it treatment by treatment. It doesn't disrupt our life because when we're in, say, Bismarck, we can go to Sanford there and we can get blood work done, direct, goes directly to our doctors back in Fargo, and it's covered. We don't have to do any paperwork. We just do what we need to do that we're directed by our doctor. It used to be untreatable, but now kids can get in remission and stay in remission.